Hey everybody, Anthony here with another Transformers review. Um, today I have Transformers Armada Sideways. Um, he is a yellow, purple, and gray and black motorcycle. Um, I know the purple is coming off with like a real dark purple, but in real life it's like a uh, uh, it's like a reddish, pinkish purple. It's not it's not really that color. And yellow is coming off a lot brighter. Oh, and he does have a little bit of blue headlights right there. Those look really nice. Look goes really nice and matchy. Um, I do have his two mini cons. Just transform them real quick. Two, I guess they're like actual robots. Which they actually look like people. Like most of the, the mini cons. This one right here, his name is Rook. He's uh, it's like a black little robot. Um, this this is actually their alt mode. They don't turn into anything. Just like this. Um, for for mini cons, they actually have really good articulation. They can go like this. They can. They have double jointed um, knees. They have a ball joint there, and then like a hinge right here that can go up and out like that. So you can actually bend their legs fairly well. Um, ball jointed thighs go in and out like that. They can go all the way up. Um, yeah, that's that's it for him. And then uh, Crosswire is right here. He's uh, gray. Um, Basically the same articulation, arms, legs, except his legs, uh, they can't really go back that much. They can go sideways a lot though. Then same double jointed knees. He, he is um, my favorite. He looks more like a person than um, the other guy because he has like these weird monster claw feet and he has normal like shoes. Um, the cool thing about them is that you can combine them. Uh, you want to take uh, cross wire and put his arms back like this. Then take his legs and spin them around. Um, I just want to say a lot of the articulation comes from this because what they have to do. Then you take Rook, put him upside down, his arms down like that. And then you want to take his feet and put him down like this. So he looks like that. Then you want to take him, and then you want to tab him in right here, which wrong way, and just and out pops a head. There's the uh, the head. Not much to it. A little stubby head. And finally, what you want to do is you want to take this piece right here on, on a cross wire and lift it up to kind of lock it in place. Now, um, I don't know if this guy has a name or not, but um, he is tall. He's very tall for a Minicon, mainly because he rides on the motorcycle. This looks nice. Um, again, articulation still exists. He's got the, well now it's elbow for him, and he's got the knees. All right, so I'm just gonna set those guys off to the side. On to sideways. Um, motorcycle, it's got classic handlebars. Um, I don't have his, his missiles would go right here and right here. I don't have them. Um, I've had them since I was a kid, so I lost the missiles. Yeah. Um, he, he actually rolls, rolls really well for a, for a motorcycle. He doesn't wanna like topple over or anything. He just, just kind of stays there. All right. So you do uh, transform him. You want to lift his seat up like that. And you want to pull his legs all the way back and split them. Then you want to take this part right here. Just push it in all the way for now. Okay. And there you have his feet. So you can stand him up like that. And then 
then what you want to do is you want to take this part and untab it like that and just spin it around for now and push it down then just take his arms and put them like that for now and you want to grab this piece push his arms all the way forward and you want to fold it up like that and put it behind his head all right okay so then there's a little clear tab right here and then there's a hole right there in his arm. You want to try to get that in there to secure his arms and then swivel them around like that. Same thing with the other arm. Um, this is a little tricky. It might take a little, little while because on mine it seems like one arm fits and the other one doesn't. Okay. All right. I'll just leave that on. Um, then lastly what you want to do is you want to take the handlebars and pull up and there is his head. He has a really nice head sculpt. It's more like droid like I guess you would call it. Got like a little blue visor, better eyes. He's got like an angry expression. Um, you can kind of put the handlebars down if you don't like them but I just keep them up like that, or up like that, where they're supposed to be. But the cool thing to him is his gimmick. You want to push his head down, and now if you take Rook and push his head back up, fold his arms up, and push his legs out like this for a while. Push his legs out. I, li I like that. So he looks like this. And you want to take him. You want to push him in. Like, like so. Rook is harder to get in than uh, crosswire. You'll see that later when I put crosswire in. So once you push Rook in. You see that the Autobot faction symbol appears. And when you take him out gone um, if those of you who do remember Armada that are watching this video um, sideways was kind of like a spy he was Autobot and then he would pretend to be an Autobot and then re report all the information to Megatron later oh and then lastly what you want to do is you want to take this piece and pull it up to reveal his eyes okay so there you have him with the Autobot head. Now this this reminds me of like um, sort of like a G1 Headmaster where you plug him in and the stats are revealed. That that's kind of what it reminds me of. So you can take him out if you want him to be an Autobot, leave him in later. Um, then you take Rook, fold that piece down. I mean, no, not Rook, Crosswire. And you fold his arms up, take the legs up like that. Pull this piece up and push it on and now he is a Decepticon. Um, I personally I don't really like the legs so I try to oops just popped his leg off. Um, so I try to hide them as best as I can even if it's just by like pushing them all the way back there so that he just has his head instead of this goofy looking thing. Instead of that, I just like to just put the legs behind like this. Why is this? I don't know. This leg just pops off a lot. I don't know why. It's just mine, I guess. And just keep his legs back like this. I mean, it looks okay. Like, the legs are pretty well hidden behind him. But, um,. Yeah, like you can't really tell that they're there unless you look at them like this. But I think it looks nicer like that because you have the handlebars there, kind of like posing his shoulder, kind of like shoulder pads, I guess. Yeah. So there he is. Um, he's got alright articulation. He can't, with his 
legs, all you can do is this. I mean, his feet kind of have pivot joints, but that's because of transformation. His arms go like this. Can't bend them. At the, you will, you just go in and out like that. Uh, it's an Armada figure. It's all right. So there he is. And um, that's it. And I'll see you guys next.